Good morning. Welcome to Kotex Securities Weekly Fundamental Podcast once again. I am your host Rini Mehta. Last week both Nifty and Sensex gained around 2.4%. BSC Midcap gained around 2.6% while small cap lost 6.4%. So macro sentiments remained volatile as frailties in European and US banks were under focus. If we look at Indian stock markets they remain concerned about the slow down higher interest rates and valuations even as inflation continued its downward trajectory both globally and domestically the us economy grew and annualized 2% from january to march according to the commerce department's third and final estimate of first quarter gdp in uh, that is gross domestic product Investors globally are awaiting key inflation data from the US that could inform the Federal Reserve's next interest rate policy moves. Now, if we look at the foreign investors participation during the last week, FII's continued to be net buyers to the tune of rupees 27250 crores so far in June. FII flows in June were mixed for emerging markets except for india philippines and taiwan all other emerging countries witnessed outflows now coming uh, to the stock ideas for the week our pick of the week is uh, max uh, max life with a target of 1060 rupees max life remains comfortable on delivering mid teen Uh, AP or annual premium equivalent growth in FY24 with a stable counter share at uh, Axis Bank and higher growth in other channels. While the share of non-par from uh, non-par from a high base of 48% of AP will likely decline, annuities and terms will be uh, drivers. the value of new business margin guidance of 27 to 28% may be conservative in uh, conservative in this backdrop unless a shift from a non par uh, is a severe and investments in new initiatives way in uh, significantly uh, so we remain assertive on the stock with a fair value or target of rupees 1060 up from 1000 earlier Lastly we also like power grid uh we have a target of 270 on the stock absolute uh, uh size impedes relative growth uh for the power grid stock power grid trades at uh, 1.8 times price to book value on fy25 at the higher end of its long term valuation range despite moderating growth rates on an expanded asset base we have a uh, long uh, long uh, we have a uh, long uh, in uh, been um, believers on the strength of uh, power grid's business model as well as its ability to capitalize on the continued need for an investment in the transmission sector in an increasing green world however we do concede that a large asset base of rupees 2.7 trillion impedes the ability of the company to grow beyond single digit and hence makes higher multiples hard to justify lower upside on revised fair value of rupees 270 leads to revision in rating to add from buy rating earlier so guys that's all from my side today see you again next week Thank you and signing off.